a small kitten was found in a heartbreaking circumstance. She was abandoned heartlessly on a parking lot by her previous owner. No one knew the exact details. It was evident that she had been thrown out, left to fend for herself in a place where no one was expected to find her. Her hind legs were injured and the extent of her injury was so terrible to the point she was forced to drag them on the ground. A woman who found the kitten called her Liuba, or affectionately Lubasha, and her story began from here. Do you think Liuba would be able to make a full recovery? Be sure to keep watching. The rescuer who found her knew there was no time to lose. Liuba needed urgent medical attention if she was going to survive. With no working hind legs and signs of other complications, the first priority was getting her out of the forest and to safety. The rescuer picked her up gently, noticing how weak and scared the little kitten was, yet she didn't resist. Once she was taken to safety, the veterinarians began to examine her to evaluate her current conditions. Although her appetite remained strong, a hopeful sign in an otherwise tragic situation, she ate heartily, as if she hadn't eaten in days, which was likely the case given how long she'd been out there on her own. After she finished her meals, it was time for a thorough cleaning as her fur was completely infested with fleas. The rescuer took her time, carefully washing away the dirt and insects while making sure she was comfortable during the bath time. The next step was to examine the kitten for any underlying issues, including ringworm and FIP infections. Once the examination was over, they didn't find any signs of these diseases on her. Despite this, the woman still needed to keep an eye on her as some diseases like ringworm typically has a long incubation period. Luba would need to stay isolated to ensure no hidden conditions would emerge. Luba's physical condition, though critical, was not her only concern. Despite her strong appetite, she was unable to urinate on her own, a troubling sign that hinted at deeper issues. As the woman continued to monitor her condition, she figured out Luba was displaying symptoms that were consistent with a condition known as cystitis, or bladder infection. Due to her injury on her legs, it also negatively affected the ability to control the bladder, making this a pressing matter to deal with as soon as possible. To treat bladder infection, the woman gave Luba medications she was having at that time with a syringe. Marbaflox, a powerful antibiotic, was given to fight off any potential infections. Hemobalance was provided to boost Luba's blood health. While filiferon, an immune system stimulant, was administered to help her fight off any further complications. Finally, a rehydrating fluid was given to keep her hydrated. The woman hoped that these medicines should be enough to keep her condition stable for the time being, until the day she made an appointment with her trusted veterinarians for more suggestions. Throughout the ordeal, the woman remained in close contact with a trusted veterinarian, who was not available at that time. She looked forward to his return, knowing that Luba would receive the best care possible under his expertise. 
ушла, сейчас пойдем купаться, да, купаться. Забыла капельки в зообазаре купить. Сейчас идем на точек и доставить, да. Да, моя хорошая, да. Смотри, вот тут домик тебе поставь. Иди сюда. Иди сюда. Иди сюда. Это у нас скуша такая. Ну. Although this small kitten still had a long way to go, she had a strong desire to live on despite her circumstances. She was extremely resilient and strong-willed, despite having been cast away by her previous owner. Любка, идем. Вот видите, стертые лапочки. Стертые вот. И абсолютно нет чувствительности. Вот смотрите. Я сдавила, да, она должна визгнуть. Но она. Ну, все равно надо хлопать, чушу попалочки. Смотри, чушу. Подтвердилась. Ну. Да. Ну, все, после карантина пойдет к Юльке. Because of this, the woman was willing to do anything for her to make sure she would live a happy life. For now, Let's hope Luba will make a full recovery soon. Идем, да, Женька? Женька. Да, малышка. Идешь ко мне? Идем на ручки. Иди ко мне, идем писать. Да. Идем писать. Иди ко мне. Идем, идем, моя боже, вторая Юлька. Да. Ну что ты? Ну что? Ну. Вот так вот, боже, ласково. А мурчалочка такая. Did you enjoy today's story? If you did, please consider giving us a like. Tell us what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Да? Мы сейчас идем писать. Вот. Она не любит, когда я отдавливаю, вообще не любит. А путем массажа. Но все равно, то есть додавливать надо. Вот. Путем массажа, вот как котята маленькие. Все вот, ну, ну вот такого плана. Видите, ну, вот так, короче, вот. вот такого плана. Вот, о, стой, сейчас, да, короче, сейчас вот выключаю вас, потому что надо пописать. Я не смогу одной рукой. Теперь Юльке не будет скучно с Любкой. Смотрите. Им теперь интересно, что это такое. Смотрите. Не бойся, Любка. Чего? Ну, Любка, не бойся. Так прикольно, красиво.
нету чувствительности, девочки. Сейчас вам покажу, как это. Вот видите, я сильно. Видите, вот она должна пискнуть. Понимаете? Вот. Я сильно нахтела. Она должна пискнуть. Она не пищит. Это как у Юльки. Вот, ничего, видите, я должна заболеть. Вот тогда это и есть чувствительность, понимаете? Так, ну в туалет самопроизвольно, да? Но мочевой, вот я так пока не понимаю, что он не полный вчера был. Я отводила и путем массаж.